Hey, it's LSFT here today, and today we're here to look at this new product that I purchased for charging my NX 450H Plus. So recently, in my video about my second month ownership, I've talked about um, charging my 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 car within six hours rather than the 12 hours. So this device here really consists of two plugs and one red plug like socket that allows you to plug in the EVSE that is pro provided by Lexus so that you can actually charge it at 240 volts. So this is an EV doubler. Um, they do offer different types of products where they can plug it into a 240 volt socket or you can plug it into, like for this one, two standard North American plugs. So you see there it says caution, this 240 volt outlet, and it ha and you can see that they, they have these two North American three prong plugs that is supposed to be plugged into two different sockets that are on different uh, sides of your panel. This is designed for 15 amp plugs and not 20 amp plugs, so you've got to make sure that you have the correct um, sockets. And again, those two plugs need to be put into different circuits uh, on your panel. They also come with this outlet tester, and um, if you plug it in into the red socket, you sh should expect that all three lights are turned on. And you can use this as a normal 120 volt uh, plug tester, and when this, when you have the, sing the, the middle light on, it means you have an open circuit. If you have um, the, the right light on, then it's an open uh, return circuit. So there's all these things that you can actually use to test it. But overall, what you need to do is plug it in. Once you have everything plugged in, you will need the three lights to light up so that you can verify that you have 240 volts coming out from that cable. So let's see how this works out. So right now, I plugged the regular EVSE into the vehicle. The car right now has only one kilometer left, and I'm going to plug it in. Okay, see the green light? So it is starting to charge. So now I enter the vehicle and waiting for it to show me. And close the door. So you see now using the regular 120 volt, I get 12 hours of charging. Time to for fully charge. As I mentioned before, you'll need two different plugs that is available in your garage or as an extension cord to another room. And what these plugs need to be is on different circuits. So we have one here and we have another one that right now that where I have the EVSE plugged in. And these two are on two different circuits on my panel at my house. So the next thing you need is an extension cord because you need to pull it from a different room or somewhere else unless you have it all connected side by side and you do not need an extension cord. Um, so right now I do have this uh, 12 gauge uh, extension cord that I can use on, as an extension so I can plug it into the EV doctor. So I plug the extension cord into the socket. So this is the first socket to have it plugged in. Now I pick up my EV doubler and plug the one side into the extension cord. You do want to make sure that the end is not lighted. Okay, now it's plugged in. It's nice, nicely put in. And now I have to plug this other black cord into the socket where I have the EVSC plugged in. So now we're at the wall where the plug is, and we're going to take the black, the other plug, and we're going to plug it into the socket. 
Now with that plugged and the other one plugged to the extension cord on the other circuit, we have now supposedly 240 volts through this red socket. So that we need to use the tester that was supplied by the company. So now I have it plugged in and you see that all three lights are now on, which means it, it has an output of 240 volts. As you see here, it says 240 volts out equals three lights on. So the next thing that we're looking at is the power adapter. So this is the power adapter that came with the vehicle. And you can see here that we have uh, the part number G9060 47139. It has an input of 110 to 120 volts at 12 amps and 60 hertz. The output is also the same. And you can see that the temperature is from minus 22 Fahrenheit, which is minus 30 Celsius, to 131 Fahrenheit, which is 55 Celsius. At first, I was hesitant to try this because on the label, it only shows 110 to 120 and not 240. So after really researching and looking at the EV Doctor website, they did say that uh, the sticker says 120 to, to, to satisfy the port, like the plug that we are using, and also to satisfy the North American standards. But Lexus and Toyota actually created this as a global um, adapter. So they're not going to be creating a version that is only 120 volts, and a version that is supporting at 240 volts. So right now we're looking at the EV Doctor website and on their website we can see that the amazing EV doubler charge in half the time. So scrolling down you would actually see that they offer different types of plugs and different types of, of uh, cables. So the one that we're looking at is the EV doubler 120 which has two normal North American plugs and an output of 240 volts. You could pick up this one, which is using the dryer port, which actually converts it back to the standard uh, North American plug. So here you can see that we need to look at the compatibility of, of the, the charger cable that we have and what is available and is it being supported. So you do see here that the Toyota Prius, the Prius Prime 2022 model and the G 9060-47719 and this one is the 47130 are supported. And you can see here it also says Toyota Prius C Prime above for others need further investigation send your charger for a free whatever for a free EV doubler. So if it's not in there they will actually provide you a free one to try but again you take it at your own risk. So here we can look at, click here for the vehicle and and the charge compatibility. So we click. So we're, we're, we're here, we're in a Google Docs that's maintained by EV Doubler here, so EV Doctor. And you can see now here it actually has updated. So this is the most updated sheet. Uh, Toyota Lexus the Prius, the Prius Prime, and the RAV4, the 2012, the 2022, these two models are compatible. However, they do say here that these models do like are not compatible. And then we scroll down here, they actually do say that uh, for new 2022 EVs, eligible for a free EV doubler program, you could do see that the Lexus UX300E and the 4NX450H Plus. You can check the model. So they didn't say that it's compatible, but I can definitely guarantee that if you do have this part, that my test does show that it works. Before I plug the EVSC into the 240 volt plug, I want to put a disclaimer out there because, again, Every situation is different, and this is really just a video showing my experience on how I got my charging to be faster, as Lexus does not support uh, this charging method, and we were not held liable for any damages that this may cause. 
So use it at your own risk. Also, I would say make sure you know what you're doing before you do this. So with that out of the way, we've plugged in the EVSC into the red 240 volt socket. So now you see that it is plugged in and that the socket does have the light of the power. So right now I have both plugged in using the EV doctor. And I will go out and now give it a try and plug it in. Okay, so now we're at 120, actually using EV Doctor 240 volts. Okay, the green light came on. Blinking. So now we've entered the car and we press yes to start charging. So now charging has start. It says 8 hours and 30 minutes. So it hasn't reduced it by half the time. So let's see what happens. So quickly after charging, uh, plugging it in, I opened the Android app and yes, this is the old version of the mobile app because I took this recording before the new version had come out. So you can see at 8.14 a.m. I have 8 hours and 10 minutes now re remaining to charge. And then on the right side, 5 minutes later, it said 8 hours. And now I have 1.5 kilometers of distance. So 15 minutes later, we got, I went back to the app and took a screenshot. So now it says 7 hours and 20 minutes. So you can see 15 minutes later, it actually reduced 40 minutes. And now I have 3.4 kilometers of range. So now 26 minutes later, it has changed to 6 hours and 40 minutes. So another 40 minutes has been reduced and now the range is 8.5 kilometers. I have taken screenshots throughout the process, but I'm not gonna bore you with this. So now this is the end result. So the left side is when we started, and the right side is when it finished. So when you look at the result, we started charging at 8.14 a.m. and it finished at 2.09 p.m. So that is about 5 hours and 55 minutes of charging. So when you compare that 5 hours and 55 minutes to 8 hours and 10 minutes, that has been a significant reduction. Again, you have to keep in mind that the 8 hours and 10 minutes is just an estimate by the vehicle itself. But now when you compare it to the 120 volt charge, it took exactly 12 hours when we started the uh, charging. This definitely reduces the time to charge the vehicle, but not at the fastest speed, right? Because if you have the 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger, you could achieve 2.5 hours. Or if you have the 3.3, that is still five hours of charging. But when you look at that, if you have the 3.3 and you're using 240 volt, but definitely it's a higher amperage, then this 5 hour and 55 or even 6 hours is not too bad. This EV doctor is definitely great for people who don't have 240 volts like the, e like the dryer port in your garage and do not want to spend the money to do that upgrade at that point. Because probably later on when you do plan to buy an EV vehicle and that's where you want to buy a level 2 charger at home and you'll need to have all that uh, set up. But for the meanwhile, this is a very good solution for you to be able to charge up and be able to charge within a reasonable time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to comment, like, 
share, and most importantly, subscribe. You can also press that bell icon to get alerted when new videos are out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers.